Hi and welcome back to the channel. You may have seen that on Native Instruments website that they are uh, giving away glaze free uh, and it just says during the holidays. So we've no idea how long that's going to go. I mean, is that German holidays, European holidays, American holidays? We have no idea. Why not just put a date on it? Anyway, it's free, so you might as well download it. I got it with the uh, Complete 14 Ultimate Upgrade uh, this year. And I have done a preset pack with it, along with Def Lines. So that you can get it on the store for free. So uh, if you do get this, you can download that as well for free. And... Uh, um, and it is uh, it's quite good. It's a bit different than than you kind of think. I'm I'm still not sure why it's called glaze. So most of the other play series have some kind of connection to what they are about. I mean, this one is high gloss vocal instrument. So the only thing that ties in with glaze is high gloss. But why not call it? I don't know something just that is more obvious because you wouldn't know if you if you saw that you wouldn't know it had a. A vocal side to it anyway that's just my logic thinking coming through so versatile vocals that hit different for pop hip-hop R&B and beyond uh, so you play with riffs and runs which is quite cool actually this is probably the best thing about it you can kind of get riffs and stuff rather than just straightforward vocal chops so you've got chopped vocal lines mapped to scales for natural sound and sequences and you are getting 148 presets, which is kind of around a bit normal for play series. You've got vocal licks, stack chords, and even bass and pad sounds. Go over a wee bit of this, and then I'll play some uh, some of the audio demos. So Glaze delivers uh, uh, glossy vocal vibes on tap from wide stack chords and pads to lead bass timbers. Recorded with a diverse range of live vocalists, it can do upfront vox duties or lustrous pop and silky smooth R&B, as well as uh, processed melodics for hip-hop and trap. Uh, new riff and runs presets let you create original vocal runs by combining chop samples mapped to a scale and that is probably the best thing about it originally a custom vocal instrument for collaborating with pop artists glaze was built in collaboration with engineers curtis wilson and roshad holiday uh, after working with the likes of neo ariana grande will smith and dr dre so it, and it is the classic kind of play series you know a and b samples you've got your sound pages you've got your effects pages so you've got things like reverb uh phases flanger chorus filter and um you can drag these around so that you can drag and change the order of these just by clicking on the lines at the side there so the the, the main eight uh, the balance and the volume are the ones that stay the same and then the uh, the six in the middle change depending on what the preset might be so yeah so like i said classic play series what is it 1.3 gigabyte and you can use this with a contact player you don't need the full version of contact that's how i came about the um the contact 7 issue i tried to load glaze to do this video and uh, it wouldn't it came up with a contact 7 error so if you are having problems with contact 7 you can have a look at that video um, all right so let's have a quick play of some of the audio So yeah, you can do quite a lot of different things with it. It's, yeah, it is a bit different. So this is a classic lo-fi. Takes a while to get going, but we'll just let it play to see if there's actually any vocals in it. Not really, there's a wee bit there.
uh, I said it's um, there's um, there's a few old mix in there, isn't there? So let's switch over to complete control, um, and we'll have a look at this in a bit more detail. So here we are in complete control with the uh, glaze loaded up. Um, and like I said, it is the kind of classic play series. So you've got A and B, uh, and this is the first preset called Fifth Element. And the Lord Wheel is adding sort of vibrato. Um, first knob is the balance, and last knob is the volume. So that is kind of standard now second generation play series in the in the first ones the the balance was uh, beside the volume i think i can't remember anyway so yeah so they've changed it so you've got balance and volume over here so that's the master volume for that preset and that said you can balance so this is that is son a and that is can o And that is them split 50 50 and then for this particular preset and then these um these six will change depending on the preset so the first one is cut off and then so got wah -wah. And the next one is uh, chorus and there's no chorus on you've got delay reverb and sauce <laughs> and like I said, you've got so that's your sound. So if you double click the sound page, just in case you haven't used Play Series, if you, if you click the sound again, you'll get the individual layers. You can see layer A has been transposed a bit, uh, and you know, there's various parameters being changed. You've got the mod envelope amp envelope, and you can assign the mod wheel. You've got two LFOs. Okay, so if you want to go back to the main page, you just click sound again. Uh, then you've got your effects, so that's your global effects, so that's them off and that's them on uh, and then you can also switch off and on uh, the both the EQ for A and B. So like I said uh, in the uh, the intro, you can drag these around, so so this has got two replicas, so, uh, you, so you can change these and drag them around. Um, so for instance we've got two, we've got two replicas, so we could change replica to uh, tape saturation or uh, lo-fi or whatever it might be. You can see that's your whole list. Um, uh, transient masters, you've got everything. Uh, screamer, distortion. Um, so yeah, so we could put lo-fi on that instead and then you can adjust that. So this probably won't make much difference. And then you can switch them off as well. So you can switch them off individually. So we could switch uh, the, the other, the replica off, uh, switch one of the reverbs off. Switch lo-fi back on and like I said you can drag these around so we could drag lo-fi up to here uh, so that it's before the reverb and and, uh, the, and the second reverb so um, you know what the have we got two reverbs for right so put on the flanger and bump up the wet so that's change that a bit and um, so that's your effects you've got your sequences and as you can see there's no sequence on you need to switch that on there and then you can just draw in uh, whatever you want you can I change the number of steps by just changing that so we could have eight steps because that was quite long uh, and then you can change the direction and everything like that so we could have uh, forward That is actually quite a, I mean, I, I just, um, yeah, anyway. So we could have forward, backward, uh, forward, backward. But that actually sounds remarkably good considering I just drew that straight in. I said you can change the velocity as well, so we could have a, a, a different velocity curve. 
So I mean, the play series is really easy. I mean, it is brilliant. And the thing is, once you've once you've learned one, they're all the same. So uh, I mean, it is a great bit of design, and it has been copied by a lot of people. Let's face it. So I've got my preset pack here as well. So um, so I've like I said, I've done fifteen. Like I said, I've got some keys. So there's crystal keys. And sauce does actually make quite a bit of difference. So you can see what I've got on. Um, so there's the flangers on and replicas on, and there's no sequence. Uh, it's quite a simple one that. I think I didn't. I used the sequences a lot in the deaf lines part. So this pack has 15 deaf lines and 15 glaze. So I used loads of sequences in deaf lines. So if you've got deaf lines as well, you can play around with the, with those presets and switch the sequence off and on. But I have done a playthrough of most of the, the um, presets, so you can watch that video and I'll leave a link to that. So we'll have a look at some of the other ones. So I'll put on, um, so Fifth Element was the first one. This is a little stuck. And then we've got breathe in. Colorblind. Okay, nice pad. So we could bung on the rotator, there's no rotator on. And bump up the flare a bit. And volume. Take the sauce down a bit and add some more chorus. So yeah, so you can just play around with these and see what you can get. So, uh, um, what's Dark Days? Lover's End. So like I said, they're not necessarily all vocals, as you can tell. This is O Modulate Me. Because this is not really showing off the, the runs and stuff. My presets, because there's a few that have got runs in them. Uh, if we go to Dolphins Playing, I think it's it. Yeah. So this kind of this has got some of the runs in it. So you can see it says riff there. So it's got the kip riff and kip sat. So yeah, you just click on these and like I said, you've got all the, uh, there's riffs, there's quite a few riffs there, um, and form, forms re reversed, um, so yeah, so it's a bit of a mixture, and then you just scroll along these, there's loads of riffs, and um, like I said, they don't seem to have used a lot of them in presets, so, and um, gospel choir is quite nice, kip riff and kip reversed. <laughs> Hot sauce, I can't remember that one. Hmm. Quite nice. You could bump the phaser up a bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's quite nice. Mariah Pariah. <laughs> I'm assuming there's a riff in here. That'll be the Mariah part. Like I said, it is very cool um, using the riffs. So you can kind of play the, you know, the first half of the keyboard with, the, this is a chorus organ. Or you can adjust the sauce. And the phaser. So yeah, so that's I do like that one. Ten green bottles. Uh, I can't honestly, I can't even remember what these are. Not sure how I got ten green bottles out of that, but never mind. <laughs> So that is it for today's uh, glaze overview. And uh, like I said, you can get this for free. We still don't know how long it's going to go because it just says over the holidays, which is, you know, the vaguest thing they could put. There's no, we don't know if it goes to January, if it's another week, two weeks, we've no idea. So you might as well get it uh, when this video comes out. Um, and then that's that, it's free. So anyway, and then you can go over to the store and get the free preset pack, which includes, like I said, these 15 for glaze and 15 for deaf lines. Right, so that's it for today. And as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.